we're on Old Hickory Wildlife Management Area this morning. It's basically the core property, which is the floodplain. It just run, it's just the bottom, or the river bottom, that just runs along the Cumberland River. And when they established this as a management area, they, they had levees built in and ponds created. Just It was simply uh, created for waterfowl hunting purposes and opportunities. And we've got several different pumps that we put in different locations. We've got two barges. The barge we have this morning, that gets pretty much all of our smaller areas, where our big barge that pumps our refuge and um, our big bottoms down here below the, the headquarters. And then we have another big bottom just across the slough from our headquarters. And so that barge is you know, tied up with just three spots where the little barge, is, we've got four or five locations, we set that up and they're usually just overnight. When we pull up to a spot, we've got some poles stuck that help us guide us in and then we've got some anchor poles up on the shore. And we've got big chains and we'll take each corner and go up there and secure it. And then we've got some cranks and we'll tighten it down and it, it's secure right there at that pumping site. 12 inch hoses is what we use. Uh, they just go up the landing area and the end of the hose is just right at the top of the, the levee around the pumping ditch and it just pumps the water right into the pumping ditch. Our little barge has two outputs and our big barge has four. Our small pump pumps probably about 500,000 gallons an hour. The big barge that we have pumps a million gallons an hour. So that, that's quite a bit of water. Once we turn it on, it doesn't turn off till uh, we stop. Now we'll check the pumps twice a day. We'll, we'll, of course, we cut them off. We'll check oil levels and, uh, and just make sure everything's still in order. We don't have any kind of warning lights on the, on the power units or anything like that. So in a normal pumping year here at Old Hickory, we usually start at the refuge. The refuge actually is one of the first places we start with our big barge, but because of the wet weather we had at the beginning of our planting season, the refuge is one of the last places we got planted this year, so it will probably be the last place that that barge finishes up. We just have to wait for the crop to mature out. We still have some milo in there, and we just gotta wait for the seed to harden. Um, the seed is just still just a little soft and doughy on the inside, so. Um, we're going to give it as much time for that seed to cure out before we, you know, flood it. Because if you don't, it'll it'll sour. I've been coordinating with the technicians between training and, you know, coordinate with them on where to plant. And they've, they've done an awesome job. I mean, we planted everything, every pond that we've had, except for 64 and 5, which, that, and that's because we don't have access to it. But all of our other holes have been planted tree line to tree line with something, anywhere from corn, milo, or a combination of corn and milo and jap millet. So, I mean, they're, they're, they've got plenty of food to eat this year and everything did fairly good to really excellent. The jap millet did excellent. Barring any kind of major breakdown, it, it takes us around 14, 15 days to get everything topped off and ready for hunting. The only forecast I can give is it just depends on the weather we have north. And, you know, we've prepared a nice dinner table. It's just whether they want to sit down and enjoy a nice meal or not. <laughs> waiting on weather and waiting on the ducks, so it's all we can hope for, you know.